Welcome. All right, so what I have here is x squared plus y squared equals 1. And what I notice is I don't have anything divided by the x squared and the y squared. So therefore, I automatically start thinking of, well, then those two numbers have to be the same. And therefore, if I was going to write them as fractions, they would have to be 1. Now, when I'm trying to identify my vertices, my foci, and my covertices, um, and and my center, I want to be able to obviously know what my a, b, and c are for my general form of the equation uh, for an ellipse. However, since I know that a squared is equal to 1 and b squared is equal to 1, I'm not going to have a major axis, horizontal or vertical. And the major axis is going to be equal to the minor axis. Therefore, we have a circle, where the general form of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals um, r squared. And when your h and k, when your center is at the at this, when your center is at the origin, we have x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So therefore, in this case, you can say that the radius r squared is equal to one, so r equals one. So again, we still need to be able to figure out what is going to be our um, foci, vertices, and uh, covertices. So a squared equals 1, b squared equals 1. And then to find c squared, or c squared, we're going to need to use a formula. c squared equals a squared minus b squared, which in this case, c squared is equal to 0. Therefore, our foci are exactly at the center, which is kind of cool. All right, so now let's go and plot the center. Now remember, here is it when we have a center at h comma k. In this case, we don't have an h comma k, so our center is at 0, 0. So I'm just going to label that center 0, 0. And what's nice about that is our foci are also both at 0, 0. Because remember, the value of c is 0. And the distance from the center to the foci is the value of c, which in this case is 0. Square root both sides, if you like. All right. Now, for the vertices, that's going to be my value of a. Again, a equals 1 as I take the square root. So what we need to do, you know, purposely for ellipses, we like to determine, are we going to be um, adding or subtracting vertices left or right or up and down? Well, because the a represents the major axis. But as you notice, my major axis and my minor axis are, are both the same. So it doesn't matter which I'm going to add or which one's going to be major, which one's going to be minor, because there is no distinction now between my vertices and my covertices, because they, um, there is no major axis, minor axis. They're equal to one another. So those are just going to be my four points on my circle. So. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph the equation of the circle and also identify the center, the foci, and your vertices. Thanks.